Alright people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. And the second Daily Duels today, because of course you guys know, Wednesday, Hump Day, you guys get two Daily Duels. Mm. Alright. Alright. I run this at one, I run this at one, I run this at one. Yeah. Anyway, and of course Magiceptor is completely crushed please because they have their own searchable Blackhorn Heaven, so as soon as I Pendulum Summon, I'm fucked. You know what, I thought... I just recorded Vibe and Y, and if you ever see Vibe and Y today, go watch this shit, and look at my bullshit, look. And I was like, oh, let's go ahead and record Daily Duels, maybe come on here, get a much better duel. No. Open up just as bad, just as ass. I need to take a break. I need to take a break. That's what I get. This is what I get. My luck is still in the, in the complete gutter, so that's what I get from trying to just jump from terrible luck on Vibe and Y to terrible luck on Daily Duels, so. Yes! Ugh. <sighs> Well, I lose. <laughs> GG! GG! I opened up like ass and you're using magic sectors, which is gonna fuck me in the ass anyway. Like, as soon as I fucking pendulum something, you're just gonna activate your own searchable black corner heaven and I'm gonna be fucked. So, what a great way to start off daily duels. Oh my god. Ugh. We're back. Alright, let's just pretend that wasn't even how it started. Let's go ahead and get a decent duel. Come back, do it again. That's fine. That's fine. That's someone's art, so I, I, I'm, I can duel. Anyway, Clee Day, Wednesday. Uh, as you can clearly see, we're not doing Tower Turbo just because I don't want people to just straight up quit because I just drop a, a Towers on them. I have the deck in real life. Why do I need to play it more in here? You know, I'd rather just use regular Clees. So, regular Clees it is. Anyway, uh, as you can clearly see by the title, uh, the decision about what deck or Slate will be using in the league has been decided. Uh, thank you guys for all the support, you know, uh, like I said, it's my channel, but it's our channel, and I'm glad you guys go ahead, went ahead and took the time to voice your opinion. I really do appreciate it. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be anywhere without you guys, and, you know, you guys are watching the content while I provide the content. Don't you just hate when you upstart into an upstart? I hate that shit. I mean, I guess, I see, it's still deck thinning, but still, you're upstarting into an upstart. It's like, man, one, two, three, four, five. I, I mean, I can always just, I was thinking I was worried about X time, but I, I got the shit to stop X time. Like, what, why am I worried? Why am I worried? I got the floodgates out the ass. I'm using Kubola, hello? Either you're going to get floodgated out the ass of Kubola, or you're going to get Tower Turbo out the ass, like, with Kubola. Because Kubola is Kubola. It is a disease. <laughs> it is a, a disease. Anyway. The decision has been made. And, I, I, I like I said, you get two daily duels. So, in the first daily duels, of course... We uh, had Slate Warrior join us for uh, our uh, additional Wednesday tag, and he, you know, went ahead and stated uh, the reasons why he would like to use his Electrum OTK and uh, reason, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, and you guys listen to him. And I gave you guys, you know, a couple hours. You know, it's been four hours, and then I cut off. I cut it off, and uh, the decision has been made. Uh, and it was neck and neck for a cool minute, and you know, I'm glad that you guys went ahead and took the time to go ahead and participate, like I said before. Uh, thank you guys very much. Go ahead and tribute shell for a shell. And then, sacrifice will go off. We'll go ahead and search for a course for a clean monster. This should be game, actually. Should go ahead and give me a helix. Should be game, because I'm going to pendulum someone right back and go attack, 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 attack. So, get fucked up, because Cleaves are just so good. So good. Like, how does that, like, still not get touched? They're like, oh, scout the two, sacrifice the one, and that's, dude, that's enough, you know? Like, we thought, like, we thought that. What was it, the April list? It's the April list, right? We, we thought, we thought this deck got a butt kicking. We're like, nah, this deck doesn't need to touch anymore. That wasn't the April list, was it? Nah. What was the list that Skill, Drain, and Vanities got hit? Was it the April list? I no, I don't remember. I don't know. Shit. <laughs> Hello, I don't even remember. But yeah, Klee is still ridiculously, ridiculously good. Whether you're doing Tower Turbo or you're just playing regular Control Klee's, still kick that butt. Anyway, the decision hasn't made, and uh, you guys are probably wondering, like, you know, oh my God, you know, which 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 deck is it? It is. Electrum OTK. Yes, Electrum OTK 1 out. Uh, I, like I said, I wanted to get your guys' opinion on it. It was really close, and uh, even with how close it was, I actually, I was like, you know, if it was close enough, I was going to go ahead and be like, you know what, it's fine. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and do it. I just wanted to get your opinion of it, and at least half of you guys, at least half of you guys, like I said, it was really close. At least half of you guys, I should have just played the Vanities. 
because of course this is an inherent summon, so. Why would I, why would, oh, now I control special summon monsters. We'll say, why can't I play my lose one turn? Yeah. Like, how about now? Nah? So then I'll just crash into you and attack you for 18. Like I said, you can kill one of these two guys, but they're just going to go back to the after deck. So, Vanity stays. This is one of the big benefits of playing Cleese. Like, you're like, no, I'm going to fuck it. I'm not even going to attack. Like, okay. Shit. Okay. Wow. Now I can just fucking drop this. Fucking wreck your face. Like, I, I really could. I could wreck your living. I could wreck your life right now. Go ahead and once again pay the 800. Like, I, I oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm about to wreck you. This duel's over. Uh, and definitely, you guys, I saw your comments, you know. And it was a nice debate. It was like back and forth. It was like, yeah, you know, yeah, we should, no, do it like this. Do it like this. No, do it like this. And like I said, you guys definitely gave Electrum a TK. And that support plus, you know, Slate has been a great help to, uh, you know, spreading the word about the league and such like that, that, um, I was like, you know what, yeah, do your thing, do your thing, uh, so, from now on into the season, he's tier 1 dice, and that is Electro TK, if he loses, hey, that's his fault, it's his fault, he made the deck, that's his fault, you know, because, uh, that's just the deck that he chose to go with, drop a fucking killer on your ass, and you can go eat the fattest of dicks, yep, scoop it up, of course I'll get another duel in, and I'll explain more of my reasoning, so I'll bear it back. Alright, back. So when I had pulled up the comments, so let's go ahead and just read some of the comments that you guys said, and I can go ahead and uh, give, give my feedback while we're just sitting here talking, right? Uh, oh, I opened up really well. I said, usually this wouldn't be really well, but with wavering eyes, everything is good. Huh? You just get some random fucking pendulum. Scale 1, set my scale 1, set my scale 1, wavering eyes, like, bitter, like, this card's just ridiculous and cleat. I said, and the reason why it's ridiculous is it's literally just because of scout. Like that's what makes it ridiculous. So if this was a clean monster, I could, I could, I could probably drop the kill. Well, as long as it was a scale one, which in this case it wasn't, because I could just hold on to any scale one. So if this was a clean monster, I could have first turned towered him. Of course, of course, first turn. <laughs> uh yeah. I guess I'll go ahead and get a monolith, depend on some of these two guys back, put the sacrifice one on. I mean, it's not like I can play lose on turn right now, right? Oh, no, let's go ahead and come to the summon you too. Why not? Summon you. Summon you. Oh, phone. Phone. What is this? Like, I want to look at the comments and you, like, zoomed in on the video and shit. Like, damn it, phone. <laughs> trying not, I'm trying to be professional here. I'm, I'm, there's, there's nothing professional about me. Hello. So let's read some of these comments. So we got this guy named Samuel, and he pretty much says that you know, please if you say it's a tier one deck, then pick an actual good hero deck. Uh, you know, a few tops here and there, and it's always been that you know, protect the castle style. Uh, but you know, so he definitely voted for OCG heroes, and Tyler voted for OCG heroes. Uh, Forever epic, my homie, who's not, who is oddly yet not my homie, like. For, for for someone who's, he has a nice chunk of subscriber, he has his own uh, Yu Gi Oh! channel. It's just, we haven't worked together, which is weird. I don't know, I always thought that was kind of interesting that, you know, he has a decently sized channel, yet we've never worked together. Like, he's never been on a tag or something, on tag series, you know. Uh, I, I bet I would have definitely wanted him to be in the league. I don't know, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. I, like I said, I've noticed his channel, just I've never contacted him, he's never contacted me. So. Oh. I said, uh, well, you know, who who needs uh, who needs uh, the bubble chain when you still have foolish? You know, that's insane. The bubble chain is a walking foolish, so. Oh. Anyway, I mean, I'm trying to pay attention to Dole, but I'm trying to read too. So this person right here says, well, I'm trying. I think it would benefit him to be a more consistent hero deck instead of Saki FTK style. But he found the match hysterical, and would like to see more of the Electrum FTK. You know, uh. This guy named Douglas said, I hate any kind of FTK, OTK deck style. That being said, heroes are still a hero deck regardless of how they run. So he should be able to allow to use whatever he wants as long as it's heroes on it. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely uh, an argument as well. You know, uh, it's heroes. Does it have heroes in it? Yeah. You know, 
Uh, just like uh, when it came to the Tier 1 Clown Blade deck, we said, you know, as long as it has Clown Blade aspects, it can be splashed in any deck that's long, as long as it's not, you know, fused with other decks, you know? So, we're just like, yep, that's fine as well. Go ahead and decap, so I can go ahead and chain this finish chain. You got that MST? No? Then shut up. I'm say what you doing going to the battle phase. You better back the fuck off, nigga. <laughs> I said, and if you had an MST, you would have chained it. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop killer on you now. So thank you, Phoenix Chain. You are still just a fantastic card. Love that card, Phoenix Chain. Definitely one of my favorite trap cards. Killer. Uh, what does Carrier do? Carrier bounces a monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get carrier and helix mixed stuff, but <laughs> I shouldn't. I have the deck in real life. I'm really, I have the deck in real life. So what the fuck am I doing mixing shit up, right? So, trick clown once again, and pay that thousand, summon him. Better than taking three thousand, right? Better than taking three thousand. So, you know, that's a great argument. That is a great argument. You know, as long as you have heroes, you should be able to do what you want. I was just going off of entertainment value. I I wanted I wanted to personally know uh, how you guys felt about the whole thing, you know. Because the uh, last thing I want is for you guys not to watch any videos related to the league like that. Just because, you know, he's playing uh, a deck like that. But it seems like, you know, some of you guys would rather him play heroes. But, regular heroes, but then some of you guys are like, you know, we'd rather see him do the electric game, which is totally fine. Do your thing, you know. So, interesting. Like I said, that doesn't change anything. That doesn't change anything at all, so. You're still getting worked. Still getting the work. Go ahead and send a monster. You have no monsters. Awesome. Well, since you have no monsters, you have a new heraldics, though. You definitely do. Yeah, I'm gonna hold him to my cards. I'm gonna hold him to my cards because in case you played another Exiton, you're gonna Exiton me again, so. So I'm gonna hold him to my cards. I'm not in a hurry. Alright, let's see. Any more comments related to it? Decision. Like I said, there's a lot of things out the decision, but, you know, in the, in the end of the day. Oh, that's the reason why. I was thinking about setting my cards, but then I was like, no, I don't want to set my cards. Like, that's the reason why I set my cards. Alright, pitch, go ahead and summon, I mean, get his advanced heraldry art, that's fine, but you can only summon psychic monsters. So, I guess you're just gonna go ahead and go into your plane coat, I guess. Like I said, this duel is over, so I don't even know why we're still sitting here. You know, people are applauding him for, you know, just doing his thing, you know, and, uh, in the end, if you guys are fine with it, if you guys are totally fine with the, the entertainment value of uh, of the league like that, then I'm fine with it too. So, we're just going to keep uh, Electrum. So, do your thing, Slate. Do your thing. Give me stealth. I will summon that stealth. And then you can't do shit. And then this duel is over. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Put that back. Put that back. Bounce, bounce, nigga. And game. But we're not done with this video, are we? We're gonna go ahead and get, like, maybe one more duel. One more duel should be fine. Like I said, I at least like to get the video to be, like, 20 minutes long. So, yeah, be right back. Alright. So, thank you guys for supporting Slate. Thank you guys for supporting the Wii. Uh, like I said, hopefully he convinced you with, uh, with his video. We interviewed him and asked him, you know, what's up? And uh, you guys have spoken. So, uh, hopefully you guys are fine with him just using the Electrum. Ew, this hand is bad. This hand is actually pretty bad. I guess I could play you and play you and summon you and summon you and draw a card and set to lose one turn. That's not a terrible play. This isn't the best of plays. 
you know, the best of plays, they're the worst of plays. And this one is the worst of plays because there is just, man, this hand is just not good. <laughs> this hand is not good. Just drawing all these cleaves and nothing to back them up. If I want to draw these clean monsters, I better be Tower Turbo, you know. Okay, there you go. I mean, at least I got to lose one turn. You know, I can't be activated. Okay. And summon uh, the Melodious. I don't really know this deck, so maybe it'll be interesting to go ahead and see. So, once per turn, you can fuse 7-1 Melodious. Once per turn, you can fuse any monsters you control. I hope that was one turn now. So, you can go ahead and fuse, but just now, when you fuse, that monster's effect is going to be negated, of course, so. So next season, next season, uh, definitely planning on uh, having it. So okay, having it. So uh, if heroes are, you know, hopefully the user of heroes will do something more hero related. Because <laughs> I know some of you guys are not happy, but you know, let him do his thing. Let him do his thing, and like I said, if if it, if it was like fifty percent, if it was like half and half, and I had to become the, if I had to be the final decision, I was just gonna let him do his thing. I was gonna let him do his thing. I just I wanted to get enough feedback to where you know I really need to know what people were thinking. If people were just straight up like, no, fuck that shit, you know, then we were gonna say, you know, fuck that shit. All right. Well, at this point, fuck it. Fuck it. And a straight booty. Keep on drawing in the booty, so let's just give him the booty. And fuck it. Carrier, just try to tuck it. Yeah, Carrier's the one that bounces the monster, so. Yeah. Sure. Some of them damn cleans out of my fucking deck, so they don't clog me, because clearly they're still clogging me. And I get to draw one card, so I'll go ahead and take that. I don't know. Yeah, let's see. Doesn't really matter. So you're gonna go into defense mode anyway, so fuck it. No, lose lose a, lose a turn. Fuck it. <laughs> I said I got the whole clean deck. Yeah, and those guys go bye bye and draw one card. No, I draw two cards, right? That's right. I don't think I draw one card. I draw two cards. So is this duel literally going to end because I have to lose one turn because it's a floodgate that Konami decided to leave at three because that's ridiculous? That should have hit lose one turn. This is coming from a, this is coming from a Klee player too. It should have hit one lose one turn. Ooh, all right, yeah, MST to lose one turn. So which you clearly chopped that because if he didn't, he would have played it last turn. So what you got? Because I got no lose one turn. I do into another one. So show me what you got? Fusion, fusion shotgun. Now this, did did you get teach you nothing? Pendulum Shulkan is stronger. I'm this lady again. You can talk up to three cards in any, any graveyard, banish them. I can gain 200 attack for each card. So you can go up to 2700. Yep, still not strong enough to take me out. Damn. Damn, it's all his fault. <laughs> that minus 300. Oh, that's a game. That is game. Pendulum shotgun. One, a two, a three, a four. Yep, that's game. I even got stealth to go ahead and. Oops, I pendulum some of the stealth in my hand. I didn't want to do that. I misclicked. I meant to click. Hold on to the. Uh, hold on to the stealth. Oops. Oops. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, fuck that up. Fuck that up real good. Well, I guess he I, I, you know, actually, I should have said Helix, yes, so I, just so I can get rid of this shell. Yes, I can get rid of this shell. Like I said, I was planning on using stealth to go ahead and bounce this. Okay. So, you're gonna go ahead and gain that attack just so you can get bounced. Oh no, not my upstart and my lose one turn. What will I do without them? That's good. Please. 
just so good. This deck needs to get hit a lot more. A lot more. It's definitely going to say lose one turn needs to be hit. No, even no, no, fuck Tower Turbo. All right, let's fuck that. They're probably just a fat. So then I play the deck. It's probably just a fat. Fuck that. You need to hit lose one turn. That card needs to go down to one. You might need to ban towers, like because the whole Tower Turbo thing, like I said, it's it's, it's debatable. It's just, it's just like Electromo TK. It's debatable. It's is it Saki? Yes. If we you know drop it, yes. Uh, you know. Can you take it out? Yeah, but I mean, could you take out your gen lock? Yeah, but if you don't, if you can't, you don't have the answers, then you lose, you know? And even if you hit particular cards, you know, it, it, there's a thin line between hitting the deck enough to hit it and not it has to be dead, but then not hit it enough and hit it enough. So, like I said, this is coming from a clear player. I definitely say lose one turn to one. That's definitely, that's, that's a given. Floodgates should be at one, you know? You know, if it's a major floodgate, especially like lose one turn, which is the new skill drain. It should be at one. Uh, so lose one turn at one. Uh, that way, you know, they still have one vanities, one skill drain, one lose one turn. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, so lose one turn to one. Uh, towers possibly banned? As I said, towers, that minus 500, that's a, that's a big thing, you know? Because they still want to do towers turbo, even though it wouldn't be towers turbo. They could always play the level nine guy. He's a 2900 beater, take your opponent's monster. Is that also unaffected by those traps? That's, you know, he's good. It's just, he's 2900, which means that your opponent can actually summon things and actually beat over him. Because like I said, that minus 500, they pretty much need to summon a 3500 beater to even crash or, like, you know, like Diamond Crab King, but not everybody can use Diamond Crab King, you know. So that's a thing, you know. So we ban towers. They still have another super chocolate fudge covered commander boss monster. That's fine. Uh, and uh, the whole, you know, Wavering Eyes, losing Wavering Eyes is a fine card. The Wavering Eyes isn't the busted card, you know. No, that's not the busted card. It's a nice anti clee card. It's a nice anti pendulum card. It's fine. The problem with Wavering Eyes is that, you know, it's just like you use it on yourself. And generally, that'd be a neg. You know, you put your scales in, you Wavering Eyes, and you just, you know, you just lost the card. But then you search for Scout. And Scout, of course, gives you pluses. So then, you know, you're not really taking a hit when it comes to Wavering Eyes. So... I'd say scout one, and I'm not sure if that would kill the deck. I just I don't know, but you know, just you know, no, maybe 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 hit wave eyes, probably hit summoners are you know you're just seeing a lower deck consistency. Lower the deck's consistency. If you lower the deck's consistency, then you shouldn't have to go after towers because the deck and I play the deck is a little fragile when it comes to consistency. It really is. Uh, you know, I you pretty much have to open up with either summoners are a, a scout. Or even guys, if you don't open up with one of those three cards, then you're not doing anything. You're, you, you have a handful of shitty clean monsters. Not that necessarily bad. And you can clearly see, I just won this duel without, you know, scout. So it's not like they're t it's too terrible. But uh, it's you can't pull a tower turbo without scout. You can't. So uh, maybe lower the consistency. Like I said, maybe just like with Tower Knights. What's a good way to hit Tower Knights? Lower the consistency. Just, you know, hit the card that's stupid in the deck, i.e., lose one turn, i.e., Trevor, and then lower the deck's consistency. Alright, so that's done. I'm done. <laughs> so, like I said, the decision has been made, so he gets Electro K, and like I said, next season, or if we, when we're working on next season, we decide, you know, we actually want Heroes back, uh, we can either have Heroes be uh, another two, Tier 1 deck again, and hopefully the person that picks it up will, you know, use the Stratus, use the Super Poly, use the, uh, uh, the, the Infinity and the Shockmaster and all that good chocolate covered OCG shit. Or... We can just simply just drop it down to a tier two deck, and uh, it'll be exactly what it is here in the TCG. You know, no Stratos, uh, not really fusion, more like Max Heroes, but yeah. So, like I said, we uh, we have a whole season to get through, and we got a ton of decisions. So, like I said, we can go ahead. Like I said, season one's a casting. This is probably a little bit too serious for season one. Like I said, he chose heroes. He chose which order of heroes he wants. I'm not, you know, make, forcing anybody else to change their deck. So, you know, watch that make him change his. I was only for entertainment purposes. And because, you know, he had Dustin's as his other deck, which is also kind of Saki deck. And he's done with the guys that you would love to hate because he's a Saki kind of guy. But, eh, yeah, we're just going to leave it alone. So, like I said, tell me uh, what you guys think about this. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. Um, of course, like I said, you get two daily duels on Wednesday, and uh, Thursdays you get another tag. Like I said, you get tags on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, singles on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So you have six daily duels, three tag, three non-tag, and this is, of course, one of the non tag So I'll see you guys tomorrow, another tag day, joined by another tag partner, and I will be using UAs. So come back tomorrow to see that. All right, people, thanks for watching.